When we first started, we invested maybe two or three healthcare companies every year. These days, at least 20 to 40. Hong Kong is uh, right in the proximity of mainland where you've got the biotechnology boom and the governments worldwide are putting a lot of money into this area. My name is Nisa Lang. I'm managing partner of Qiming Venture Partners. We're one of the leading venture capital firms out of China, and we manage over 6 billion AUM, US dollars, and uh, we've invested in over 400 companies, including 150 healthcare companies. We have seen quite a bit of growth in both private and public investors, in biotech and the healthcare sector as a whole. My name is Alex Jabrankov, and I'm the founder and CEO of a company called InSilico Medicine. InSilico Medicine is an AI-powered biotechnology company. Our company is one of the very few that managed to actually identify novel target, novel mechanisms of disease in Hong Kong while working with our AI tools. We rely on massive number of uh, contract research organizations that are emerging all over the world and uh, specifically in uh, GBA and the rest of mainland China that allow you to perform very complex experiments without having your own lab. So companies uh, that are headquartered in Hong Kong will benefit. The standards for operations in Hong Kong are very high. Global investors have quite a bit of trust in the financial system there. Many biotech and medical device and diagnostic companies were able to leverage and benefit from this, and they're able to tap into the public investors pool a lot earlier and raise a lot more money to fund additional R&D and also commercialization and potentially globalization. Besides attracting pre-revenue companies to Hong Kong, there are more and more biotech companies or medical device companies which are profitable that can list directly at the Hong Kong Exchange main board. So we've seen an influx of these companies coming into Hong Kong to list as well, rather than going to US. Hong Kong Exchange have become such a venue of choice for Chinese biotech companies. And so what we foresee is that, you know, potentially these companies can really continue to grow in the GBA and Hong Kong vicinities and be able to tap into the public market of Hong Kong Exchange. So the level of sophistication of the people who work in GBA, also in Shenzhen specifically, is much higher in IT. And uh, you can utilize the talent that is very sophisticated in uh, what they do in IT and try to convert the talent into biotech over time. People are starting to see that, wow, there are actually more and more innovative drug companies coming out from China that are coming to list in Hong Kong. And from that, we see really more and more investors coming in. You really need to bet on, you know, design in Hong Kong made in mainland. So that is the main mantra if you want to win. <laughs>